Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on March 28th, 2020. Welcome to another Surviving Day on This Planet. Thank you so much for joining the Daily Dew. Welcome. Starting out here, looking at still our quiet sun. Not much to talk about. 304 angstroms, looking at plasma. Two hundred eleven angstroms, looking at our heliosphere. Small coronal hole when uh, wind stream is expected over the next twenty four hours. But still, very quiet sun. Much love to everybody. God bless humanity. Let's get to earthquakes. Last 24 hours for earthquakes. Things look to be evenly distributed around the planet today, except for deep earthquake in South America. Late last night, 5.2. But here we're looking at 4.8 and 4.5 Chile. But this deep 5.2, 590 kilometer depth in South America has kept all the action. South America plate, North American plate. Get an update on volcanoes here soon. Deepest earthquake and largest. Other than the 5.8 that was just reported. Dominican Republic still swarming. Upper Midwest here, a 3.0 in Oklahoma. Minor rumbles still rocking Texas. Moving north to California with a 2.5. Seismicity has increased in Alaska, 3.9 there, and 4.3 in Atka, Alaska as well. And then further north, North Russia, 4.3 here in Tikai, Tixi, sorry, Tixi, Russia, in between Russia and Greenland, 4.9 here in Japan as well, 57 kilometer depth. These are all most recent now. We're getting into the 5.8. Indonesia. Pendolo. Indonesia. As well, moving east. 5.0 here. Papua New Guinea. And a 4.3. 4.7 here in the Tonga. Shallow quake. So most of the action has been west side of the Ring of Fire and east, southeast, towards South America. Let's just have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. A lot of deep earthquakes. South America, Fiji, and Japan. And as well, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, deep earthquakes. We had that 7.8 in Russia, Kamchatka. But it's just interesting. You look at the deep earthquake in South America and the deep earthquake in Japan, they are antipode to each other. Now, what's to come over the next few days? We don't know. And that's why we stay aware and prepared. And I appreciate everybody who tunes in every day. Thanks again. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an update. Overlooking the Pacific Disaster Center here, a lot of fires being updated across Thailand, Laos, and up, at, up into Myanmar. Thoughts and prayers with my buddy Stephen. Latest updates for volcanoes, Sangue in Ecuador, Nevada de Ruz in Colombia. And what was that last one? I think it was Raventador. So only three being updated today after that deep and large, sizable 5.2 in Argentina. So it's in colonial Argentina where the epicenter of that earthquake was. And you could see across Central America, activating Sangay, Fuego, Popo, 
they battled the rules and then further north into Texas. And then we have a tornado warnings as well across St. Louis right now. So stay aware and prepared, my American friends. Flood alerts are coming in by the minute, it seems like. And I believe the tornado alerts are going to come too. We have this atmospheric river from the Pacific Ocean just keeps pouring in. Large low pressure centers coming in off the Pacific. Let's get to the five day forecast here, brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting here at overlooking Western Canada, home base. Northern Alberta, colder temperatures. Calgary, moderate. But look at all this snow that is coming in the five day forecast. We've got about three days of snow expected from Sunday night and into Tuesday. Most likely Sunday night it will start. Alberta Clipper forms and tries to move east. We'll see how much generation it gets from the Gulf of Mexico heat. We also are watching this nor'easter develop, bring a lot of rain and mixed bag precipitation towards Ontario into the Atlantic provinces. And this very dominant high pressure ridge that is building scooted over from the United Kingdom And then watch as a vigorous low pressure system scoots across Greenland, heading into Eastern Europe. Pretty powerful winter storms still brewing across Eastern and Northern Europe and into Russia and as well now here in Alberta. So as I stated yesterday, winter is far from over. Looking at some pretty drastic high pressure ridge hanging out over the North Pole and the Atlantic Ocean. I haven't seen a strong high pressure ridge yet like that through our winter. So just, just saying, that's all I can say. Uh, overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, heavy amounts, coastal regions, Peru, and into Colombia. And later in the week, watch for extreme weather across Argentina, Sao Paulo, Heavy, heavy rains will be expected. Five-day forecast. Australia, dry conditions central and north and warming up. Southeast, low pressure developing, affecting Tasmania straight up into Sydney. As well, watching this possible tropical cyclone still trying to develop over the five-day forecast. It's just sitting there spinning for five days. So not much to talk about. Cooler South Australia and hot and dry North Australia. And that's the same with Africa. Cooler temperatures will be moving into South Africa and warm more centrally along equatorial. Not much to talk about for extreme weather around the world except for the storm that is going to be brewing for Alberta, the Alberta Clipper later in the week. We've got extreme heat conditions building in India and Thailand. Thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected by the smoke and the fires. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. Watch for the drastic size of the low pressure systems that are developing. Low pressures spin counterclockwise. High pressure spins clockwise. Thanks again for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. I appreciate you watching and tuning in. Don't forget to smash that like button. Bye-bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.